A. Yeah. Mr. Go get um. Like. Comment. Plus subscribe. What up, YouTube? This your boy, Mae. And I'm back with the new solo God mode glitch here on GTA 5 Online after the latest patch. Alright, so with this one, we'll need to meet a few requirements before doing the new glitch out method here. Now, all we're gonna do is pop ourselves into a public session. When we get in that public session, we want to spawn in right here at our facility. That's very important. After we've spawned in at our facility, all we're going to do is go ahead and register into our CEO organization. Now, for this one, you will need the Lester Heist invite to the facility and one to the apartment. We won't use the one to the apartment, but since we spawned in right here at the facility, then we can use the one for the facility. Alright, so all we're going to do here is, I've made my way right here to my receptionist desk. My first step, after I've already registered, is I want to make my way straight to the arena. So, I can request one of my Pegasus vehicles here, or I can fly my Avenger. Now, when you're driving your cars out, it doesn't work as consistent as when you just fly there. So, all we're going to do here is make our way straight to the arena. Alright, so now we're here at the arena, and the first thing we want to do is make sure we have both of those Lester Heist invites on our phone. So we'll simply pull up our phone, and we'll check for both the facility and the high-end apartment Heist invite. Notice we have both here. Perfect. After you've gotten both, just make your way straight into the workshop level of the arena. We didn't do anything fancy, we just made sure we had both of those on our phone. Now, in most cases, as soon as we make it inside, we'll notice that it's all glitched out. That's cool. All we're gonna do now is we'll retire. So we'll pull up our interaction menu and we'll go to Securo Serve and we'll just simply retire. Now we'll open our phone and we should still have that Lester Heist invite to the facility. If everything was done correctly, this Heist invite will be on your phone. So all we're gonna do is accept that Heist invite and notice nothing happened. Perfect, we're almost done here. Alright, so this next step here, we're going to need someone that's in a different targeting mode. So, we'll simply go to a community or to our friends list, then we'll hit join session on that friend's name. Now, just to check, all we'll do on this first alert is we'll double tap our PS button and we'll rejoin them. If they're in a different targeting, we would get that targeting mode alert. Perfect, we'll decline it. So now, we'll rejoin them one more time, we'll accept the first alert and decline the second alert, then we'll make our way straight inside. Now this alert is perfect, we'll accept this alert, then we'll hold down on our D-pad and we'll choose any story mode character and we'll release our down D-pad. From there, we'll decline this alert and notice it kicked us out and we have a blurry screen. So to get rid of this, we'll join that friend that's in a different targeting mode, we'll accept the first alert and decline the second alert, now we're back here. Notice our mini map is glitched out guys, we are on the home stretch. Alright, so now we'll make our way over to the elevator door and we'll just simply register into our CEO. So we'll pull up our interaction menu and we'll register. From here, guys this next part, it requires timing. In a moment, We'll go up here and select B1, and as soon as we see the cutscene of our character reaching to push the button here, all we're going to do is double tap, and we'll hit join session on that friend that's in a different targeting mode. So let's make sure that friend is still in a different targeting mode. Perfect. Now, we're just going to walk up here, and we'll select B1. As soon as we see our character about to reach for this button, we'll double tap our PS button. So right now, he's reaching, this is the perfect time. We'll double tap, and we'll hit join session on that friend that's in a different targeting mode. Now, we don't have to push anything on those two alerts. They switched on their own. If your alerts switch by themselves, then that is perfect. Okay, so here, we're gonna wait on this for 20 seconds. So what we can't see is our character is spawning right inside of the facility in that heist room. So when we decline this alert, we want to spam right D-pad and we'll spam X. 
So we'll decline this alert and we're spamming right D-pad in X. We're trying to go into a heist. Now if you have a finale, then you don't have to do anything but decline this alert here. But if you get stuck here on the black screen, we can always use a friend. So here we go, let's give it a shot. So right now, I'll decline and I'm spamming right in X at the same time. Now if I hit this correctly, it would put me straight in my high settings. But we got an infinite loading screen here. So I was not on time with doing that last step. But that's cool. Now we'll just have a friend to go into a titan of a job. All we want to do is go to the party when that friend is in a titan of a job and we'll hit join session on their name. We'll get on this first alert and we'll tell them to leave that job. After they've completely left, we'll accept this alert, then we'll accept the unable to connect alert. Perfect. From there, you'll get this glitched out screen. You'll go up, you'll come right back down. Guys, we are almost done. All right, so right there, that step is crucial. Now, if you don't have a finale, you want to decline that last alert and spam right D-pad to do one of your setups in your spamming X to start the setup. But if you guys get that infinite loading screen, just call in a friend for about 10 seconds there. But all we're going to do now is exit this facility. Now, just a moment ago in that heist room, if we had have hit that correctly, we would have saw ourselves on the high settings. And all we would do is back off of that high settings. Then we would make our way here outside also. So that's very important. But notice here, we just saw a quick flash of our character, then we got this black screen. This black screen will load for about 30 seconds and it'll kick you right here to the arena. This is perfect. So right now we have guns inside of the arena. Perfect. All right, so I'm sure you guys don't wanna hang around inside of this arena, but if we make our way to the front door, it will not let us exit. So right here, all we're gonna do is start up a Titan of a job and we'll simply leave this job. So notice I did not get the exit, so we'll just start up a Titan of a job and we'll go straight into that job. Okay, so here on the job settings, all we're gonna do is leave that job. Okay, so here are our settings here. So we'll just back out. This should kick us outside of the arena in God mode. Now there was a few steps. It only required the facility in the arena, but we managed to knock that all out right here at the arena. Then we had a split second that we were at the facility. But notice right here, guys, we are in God mode, 100%. All right, so with this, yes, you can call out your cars. And as you can see here, we can use our weapons. Now, you don't wanna try and go in the inside of interiors or any garages. Now, one other thing we can do is we can take this into missions. I've tried a few other missions and they all worked. Now, I haven't tried any of the heists, so you guys feel free to check that out. But to change sessions, all you would do is pause it and go into any Rockstar created survival. We won't need anyone to join this survival. So all we're gonna do is choose any one of them. All right, so when we get into survival, we just want to go down to confirm settings and we'll launch this job by ourselves. So we'll hit confirm settings and now we'll select play. All right, so notice we're preparing to start that first wave here. All we're going to do to leave is we'll pull up our phone and hit X one time. From there, it'll give us the option to leave this job. So all we did was started up that survival and as soon as we launched that job, we simply left that job. Now in most cases, it'll throw you in a completely different session, but sometimes it can throw you right back into that same session and all you would do is join another survival and leave it. But after changing sessions so many times, it'll ultimately take you out of God mode. So you guys want to pick your session and do your thing. But hey, hopefully this video has been helpful, man. If it has been, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Turn those post notes on so you don't miss your boy. But this is your boy Maid, and I'm out. Peace.